actually this foundation has helped me it has impacted so much on me in terms of skills and knowledge and in peace education with what i have gathered in this first second and third module i am most efficient effective to impact this knowledge even in my place places of apostolate as i work in the Nigerian Conference of Women Religious uh, uh, Resource Center in Dujos, and I also lecture there in the Institute for Formators. I've also used the opportunity to impact the knowledge I have acquired. Now, this knowledge has also helped me to reach out to people because where I am, it is most vulnerable. Vulnerable in the sense that uh, because of the crisis that they had in the past, that we discovered that you dare not see Muslims or Fulanese around there. They will just come in, do their duty, and they will go. So in such environment, with the knowledge I have gathered here, it will actually help me to know how to navigate, how to bring peace among these people, how they can see themselves and consider what brings them together than what divides them. So I have acquired so much with the Cardinal Onikon Foundation for Peace in terms of skills and acquisition. There is a saying that feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a gift and not giving it out. It is against this platform that I want to appreciate in a most special way the Hilton Foundation that sponsored the sisters for this project. I must say they have touched so many lives because using uh, my own project, my own small community project as a point of reference, we are 50 widows, we are not only empowered, but they were conscientized, they were taught peace education, how they can live in harmony with themselves and also live in harmony with people around them. You could see the smiles, you could see the happiness on these widows, knowing that most of them, that will be a source of uh, livelihood for them. They were given startup kits in order to start their business. And as, as I speak to you, 50 of them are doing very well in their business. And by next year, hopefully, that's something that we generate to have something that may even bring touch more of their lives or even go a level up above that. And once in a while, they gather for their meetings, they see themselves as one, even though it, is, it was more of a communicable because our uh, churches were involved. We had the Anglican that very day, we had those from Equa, we had those from, uh, from uh, 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 Cooking Church, we had those from Assemblies of God. So it was something that was most encompassing. Due to the, uh, my own environment, you don't, uh, Muslims cannot come in and Christians cannot come in. But still, th we had a kind of uh, a gathering whereby we could see how by next year we could bring in these people without having a problem and we will see uh, stay together, acquire knowledge, uh, uh, speak together as brothers and sisters and see what unites us together more than what divides us. So I want to appreciate the Hilton Foundation. And I also want to, on this note, plead that they also sponsor other sisters in this program because it will go a long way helping them to touch lives wherever they are because it is urgent we make humanity our religion.